हेलो गाइज लेट्स कंटिन्यू दिस पर्टिकुलर सीरीज के ऑफ महाराष्ट्र हिस्ट्री अप टिल नाउ वी विल डिस्कसिंग द फैक्ट्स एंड फिगर्स इन द कॉन्टेक्स्ट ऑफ रेवल्यूशनरी मूवमेंट्स इन महाराष्ट्र ओके सो वी हैव सीन द स्टोरी ऑफ चापेकर ब्रदर्स दीज वेर द वन हु प्लेड द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट रोल इन दिस पर्टिकुलर कॉन्टेक्स्ट ओके सो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू मूव टूवर्ड्स द नेक्स्ट पार्ट दैट इज द पार्ट वी हैव लेफ्ट ओके सेवेंथ आई गेस it was a uh, baroda state okay the rising and uprising of baroda state okay at this point of time baroda state was ruled by sayaji rao gaikwad okay at this point of time uh, baroda state was ruled by sayaji rao gaikwad okay now the thing is this particular person showed that he was loyal to the britishers so he didn't participate in any arm of driving okay so he didn't participate in any of the arm of driving but he passively supported everything he passively supported everything how can i say this particular thing that he is passively supporting because he was not taking any action okay he was not taking any action against the rebels means what indirectly you can say he was supporting this particular uh, movement or whatever thing were going on okay now after some time a british resident you guys might be knowing that gaikwads have accepted the british superiority subsidiary alliance okay so a british resident whose name was called dos okay you can pronounce it whatever you want c o l w i d o l called okay he reported he reported to government that uh, sayaji rao gaikwad is not loyal to the british okay sayaji rao gaikwad isn't loyal okay he reported to government and then he said that sayaji rao gaikwad helped the congress and baroda has become center of anti british activities okay and these activities are led by brahmin traders of pune okay these lines were said by called up okay these lines were said by called up that baroda has become a center for anti british activities which is led by brahmin traders of traders of pune okay this was the biggest statement given by this particular resident okay now after this particular thing you can say in the year 1905 Okay, in the year nineteen zero five, a person whose name was Keshav Keshav Rao uh, Deshpande. Person whose name was Keshav Rao Deshpande. Next, sorry, Madhav Rao Jadhav. Okay, Arvind Ghosh. and devdhar established ganganath school ganganath bharatiya vidyalay names are important just write these names once in your copies or in your notes whatever you are making so ganganath bharatiya vidyalay okay they established this particular thing at a place called chandod c h a n d o d chandod at a place called as chandod okay now british resident suspected that the teachers and students of, of this school okay the resident okay, the same resident called dot okay he what you can say suspected suspected that teachers and students over here okay teachers and students over here were engaged in seditious activities what he thought that uh, teachers as well as students over here are engaged in seditious activities okay they are engaged in seditious activities so he questioned 
okay who the resident question okay he question divan of baroda okay what these things are going on is it in the favor of the british are you doing the right thing you are funding that particular institute do you know this particular institute is not in the favor of the british okay so he question this particular divan and due to the fear of everything this divan ordered the closure of this school by 1908 it is three years okay this school ran just for three years you can see this particular okay now the next person next particular person was it one dr siddhanath kani okay we have learned the name of this particular person somewhere else okay i hope you remember this okay just in the previous session i have told you something about this particular person just comment he was related to which particular aspect or what he was concerned with what thing okay just comment in the comment box i'm going to declare it as of now but just you need to comment on this particular thing that siddhanath kane just focus on a brain if you can recall it okay siddhanath kane was related to what you need to answer it in the comment box okay so he was uh, the member of pro tilak okay he was the member of pro tilak secret society where at yavat mal okay he was the member of pro tilak secret society at uh, yavat mal okay now <clears throat> what he did he studied medicines at calcutta he is doctor correct he has studied medicine at calcutta he studied the course of medicine in calcutta and there he came into contact with a revolutionary called as barindra nath bosh okay there he came in contact with barindra nath bosh okay. barindra nath bosh there he came in contact with barindra nath barindra nath bosh okay and then uh, he advocated a person whose name was narhar just a minute he advocated narhar vithal bhave and abaji patulkar okay narhar narhar vithal bhave and abaji patulkar he advocated this to particular person and secured eight pistols okay and he secured eight pistols okay he has secured eight pistols from french settlement where in bengal at chandra nagar a chandnagar what we call it as chandra nagar okay besides this he brought okay with him he brought one gun and bomb making ingredients to yavatmal with him okay he brought these things with him to yavatmal okay so this was the story of uh, siddhanath kane dr siddhanath kane okay after him we are going to see the next person just a minute yeah uh, the next person that is uh, most important one famous in pune as well that is pandurang mahadev papat he is also known as senapati papat okay pandurang mahadev papat or senapati papat okay let's have a discussion on this particular person okay he was from a place called as parner Where is Parner? It is in Ahmednagar district. Okay, a place called as Parner, Ahmednagar district. Okay, so he completed his BA from Bombay University. Okay, in 1904. Okay, and then he has got us in 1904. Okay, he has completed education Bombay University. Uh, BA in Bombay University in 1904. He got a scholarship to study where in London. he got a scholarship to study in london okay he got a scholarship to study in london there he pledged okay when he went to london he pledged to free motherland okay there he has pledged 
to free motherland and serve the country and serve her till his death in fact he even said if he dies before getting independence if he dies he would like to reborn in india to complete the remaining task see such a great ideology this person kept with himself okay even if he dies without completing his objective what he should do he should be reborn in india why just to fulfill, fulfill the objective just let incomplete in his previous work okay this was the thing that he kept in his mind okay now next thing about him is uh, when he he went to london there he joined india house okay this particular india house by, was established by shamji krishna varma okay this india house was established by a person called uh, shamji krishna varma okay then he hosted he stayed over here and then he used to go to paris okay what he used to do he used to go to paris and there he learned the art of bomb making okay what he did he went to paris and there he learned the art of bomb making not only this much but he made a booklet how to make a bomb and sent this particular booklet to india i hope you are getting this okay he has made a booklet on how to make a bomb technologies used to make a bomb and sent this particular thing where to india okay and then finally when he returned back to england what he did in newspapers he wrote anti british articles okay so what british is did okay you going there and you are doing this things so what will do will cut short your scholarship so due to this particular article he lost his scholarship okay he lost his scholarship now just imagine guys he is living he is a person from nagar means what in maharashtra and there is one leader in maharashtra at this point of time who is very famous on his one word the whole dynamics could change okay who is this person you need to comment it okay that particular person x y z a person okay sent him 2000 rupees okay that person sent him 2000 rupees okay who was he chalo i'll tell you this lokmanya tilak okay lokman tilak sent him 2000 rupees and requested whom shamji krishna varma to allow uh, senapati bapat to stay at india house okay allow him to stay at india house then what happened he returned to india after mastering the whole process okay then he returned to india returned to india mastering bomb making okay but many came now what people would do charcha okay they would discuss ke senapati bapat is coming he has mastered the bomb making so this news got on the ears of britishers so as soon as he came britishers okay what they did they tried uh, to arrest him okay and due to this particular thing what happened britishers got alert okay. britishers got alert on this and due to this particular thing he was he was underground okay but he cannot remain underground for a longer time finally he was arrested okay he was finally arrested and later he was released in 1914 see four five years jail he has uh, what you can say he suffered four five years of jail okay and then finally when he was released in 1914 he said that he would be devoting himself to construction social service okay instead of arm moment what is it hence forth he would be devoting himself for construction uh, constructional and social services okay instead of armed rebellion he will not be involved in any of the armed rebellion hence forth this was statement of uh, senapati bapat or panduram mahadev bapat okay so the next important person now okay the pride of maharashtra you can say about this particular person okay or the ideology of maharashtra or hindutva was given by this particular person okay he is none other than swatantra veer savarkar is also known as vinayak damodar savar most important person okay, in the context of indian history okay so this particular person stands tallest amongst all the revolutionaries in india he stands tallest amongst all the revolutionaries in india okay now you can say he was a brilliant person okay why i am saying this he was a thinker 
He was a philosopher. He was a poet. Okay. He was a writer. He was a leader, and he was an organizer. Okay. He had multiple activities, or he was a multitasking person. Multiple activities imbibed in himself. Okay. So he was deeply influenced. He was deeply influenced by Chapeker Brothers. Okay, he was deeply uh, influenced by Chapeker Brothers, and from childhood itself, he was devoted. to the country or towards serving the country okay so when he was a kid or in his childhood days he established mitra mela okay uh, he established mitra mela and why he started this particular thing because he was very much influenced by an italian revolutionary of him he has wrote a biography as well okay his name was mazzini okay an italian revolutionary whose name was mazzini okay so he established mitra mela and then finally you can uh, in 1904 okay in 1904 his brother whose name was ganesh was also called as babara okay ganesh or babara founded a secret organization or you can say founded a revolutionary organization okay whose name what was his name come on guys you need to remember this particular thing okay what was the name of this particular organization it was abhinav bharat so what was the name of this particular organization abhinav bharat okay now what happened what was the aim the most important thing is what was the aim of this particular organization abhinav bharat okay first aim was to secure arms from abroad and smuggle it to india what is the first aim to secure arms from abroad and smuggle it to india or to send them to india the first basic aim of this particular organization okay second one what it was to preach anti british thoughts amongst soldiers to preach anti british thoughts among the soldiers what was the second thing uh, preach anti british thoughts among the soldiers okay second thing was uh, create a public opinion okay to create a public opinion through swadeshi boycott and national education Okay. so they she boycott national education and last one was uh, to resort to guerrilla tactics whenever possible okay to resort to guerrilla tactics whenever possible whenever it is possible go for guerrilla or tactics you should have that particular thing. okay now what happened was in the year 1906 okay in the year 1906 swatantra veer savarkar secured okay shivaji scholars okay uh, who gave this particular scholarship to him shamji krishna varma okay who gave him this particular scholarship a person whose name was shamji krishna varma due to this particular thing what happened he went to england He went to England. There, what he did, he translated biography of his famous uh, freedom fighter, that is Mazzini, and also wrote a book called as First War of Independence. He also wrote a book which is called as First War of Independence. Okay. Then, uh, what happened was. Uh, when he was there okay just a minute uh when he was there he started uh, to learn bomb making okay what he did started to uh, learn bomb making and sent weapons to india okay procure weapons and send them to india okay so 
uh, when finally in 1910 he was in paris for such activities what he was doing he was procuring the weapons and sending this particular weapons to india so when he was in uh, paris what happened britishers got to know about him okay he saw our guru is doing so, so and so things britishers got to know about this particular thing and they declared him traitor okay and announced his arrest what they said you need to arrest him okay they declared him traitor and announced his arrest okay so what happened he did not know what things are going on so what he did after doing his work when he was returning to england okay he was caught hold or he was caught at victoria station okay hope you guys are getting the story what happened he was caught okay what he was doing he was in paris he was smuggling the weapons to india and when he completed this particular work what he did he was returning to england back and when he was returning police got to know okay or british got to know his plan that he is smuggling the weapons and they declared him a traitor and when they declared him traitor they said now we need to arrest this particular person or savarkar okay so he was not knowing anything about it so when he reached england at victoria station he was arrested i hope you guys are, you you guys got the story up till now okay and now what happened he was when he was arrested they decided to send savarkar to india for trying trying the cases on him okay whatever charges were laid on him just to try this particular cases uh, they decided to send him to india through a ship called as maurya okay through a ship his name was m o r i y m o r i y maurya okay m o r i y maurya so this particular ship they were sending him okay and also they feared that okay, this savarkar is a sharp mind so he could escape okay it's very easy for him to escape from this particular thing so what they uh, they did they requested french government what they did britishers they requested french government not to help savar okay what they did they requested french government not to help savar so when this moria ship left what he did he went to washroom savar savar kar went to washroom and from washroom he jumped into the sea okay and then Uh, by swimming he crossed the whole water body okay but he had a bad luck on the coast or on the shore he met french soldiers they captured him and they submitted him again back okay they sent him again back okay and then what happened uh, he was again brought to india and he tried okay and when he came to india he was given imprisonment okay for 25 years he was given imprisonment for 25 years and later when jackson was killed you will see who was jackson why he was killed okay and when jackson was killed his punishment was further extended to 25 years okay 25 years and 25 years. you can imagine how great punishment was given means see how much britishers feared this particular person vinayak damodar savar okay so after this particular chapter okay after vinayak damodar savarkar we are going to learn about his brother okay swatantra vir savarkar i guess it was he was 10th in the series yes now his brother 11th in the series okay his name was baba ra savarkar okay his name was baba ra savarkar okay and his important organization that is abhinav bharat i told you savarkar where was uh, the vinayak damodar savarkar where was vinayak vinayak was in london okay so what he was doing he was procuring the weapons and he was sending the weapons to india okay and in india who was the person who was receiving this weapons or who was storing this particular weapons his brother his name was baba rao savarkar okay baba rao savarkar was doing this all things okay he managed everything about the abhinav bharat okay and what happened was once for a while he had a clash you can see his young blood okay he is filled with aggression he has too much pride for the india and too much self confidence in himself so what happened once for a while he was engaged in a clash with a police officer okay with the police officer what was his name his name was mohammad hussein he was engaged in a clash with the police officer whose name was mohammad 
Hussein. Okay, and due to this particular, to remove the anger, to remove the grudge on him, what this Muhammad Hussein did, he arrested him. He arrested him for one month. What happened? He arrested him for one month. And in one month, what happened? All the heat, what Babara had, was removed. Okay, and so after one uh, one month, what he did? He was released. Okay, and once he was released. He reorganized the branches. What did he reorganize the branches of Abhinavar? Okay, what he did was he reorganized the branches of Abhinavar. Okay, and then what he did, he made he thought that everyone should learn a thing called a dand patta. Okay, everyone should learn. All the Abhinavar members should learn dand patta. For that particular thing, what he did, he called a person called as Ibrahim Bhai. Okay. For this, he called Ibrahim Bhai, who was a retired soldier, to teach what Dandapatta. He called Ibrahim Bhai. Okay. Why? Just to teach Dandapatta to the people. Okay. He was uh, busy in procuring weapons. Once for a while, you can say he was easy or he was procuring weapons from a person called as Trembak Chakravarti. Okay, Chakravarti. From where? From Calcutta. Okay, he was procuring all the weapons from Trembak Chakravarti. Okay, and what he did? He stored all these weapons, see important point, okay. He stored all these weapons at a place called as Barve Wada. Okay, the place called as Barve Wada. He procured the weapons from Trembuk Chakravarti from Calcutta and stored all these weapons at Barve Wada at Kothure. Okay, it's not Kothrud, it is Kothure. Okay. In, at Kothure, okay. But what happened meanwhile? One member of Abhinav Bharat betrayed the, uh, what you can say this organization. One member betrayed this particular organization and he gave all the information to the British. Okay, what he did? He gave all the information to the Britishers. And once this information was given to the Britishers, what they did? Britishers raided all branches. Of Abhinavar. Okay, while reading what happened, they found a document or seditious document. Okay, so what they did in the year 1909, okay, they have punished this particular Baba of Savarkar. Okay, everything, all weapons and property was confiscated and they sent Baba of Savarkar in. Andaman prison. Okay. They sent him in Andaman prison. Okay. Now, after this particular thing, what happened? A new chapter emerged. Okay. Through a person whose name was Anant Kanare. Okay. Anant Kanare. So, this particular person was supposed to be the follower of Savarkar Brothers. Okay. He was follower of Savarkar Brothers. Okay. When he got to know the news, of arrest and punishment of Baba Rao Savarkar uh, in Andaman, he became very furious. He became very angry. And now he decided that this should be revenge. Okay. Or he would revenge this particular incident. Now there should be a revenge for this particular thing. So what he did is he planned that the person or the judge who gave punishment to Baba Rao Savarkar, his name was Jackson. Okay. What is the name of this particular judge? Jackson. So he planned to murder Jackson, who Anand Kanare, a follower of Savarkar Brothers. What he did? He decided to punish or to murder Jackson. So what happened? On 21st of December, okay, 1909. 21st of December, 1909, Jackson went to a Marathi drama. Okay. Jackson went to Marathi drama whose name was Sharada. Okay, he went to a Marathi drama, uh, Shar Sharada, which was held in a theater whose name was Vijaya 
Nand Theatre. Where was it? It was at Nasik. Okay. Vijayanan Theatre at Nasik. And this particular uh, drama was organized by Devil Group. Okay. It was organized by Devil Group. So when he was returning from this particular drama, okay, what Kanare did? Kanare shot Jackson by Browning Pistol. Okay, what happened? He shot Jackson by Browning Pistol. Okay, then further he was arrested for sure. Okay, he was arrested, and when he was arrested, police, uh, what you can say, police raided him, and they found objectionable objects with him. Okay, they found out some objectionable objects with him. Which were these objects? You can say he, they found revolver, they found bullets or guns. You can say pistols. Okay, poison, revolutionary literature. Okay, and due to this particular thing, they charged him and they hanged him. Anand Kanare was hanged in this particular thing. Okay, now government became very alert due to this particular move. What happened? Government became very alert in this particular move. And what they did? They raided uh, all the suspicious organizations. Okay, and what they did? They arrested many associates of Abhinavarat. What they did, they started arresting many of the associates. Okay, Some of them who were arrested was Ganu Vaidya. Okay. A person called as Ganu Vaidya. What they did, they arrested Ganu Vaidya. Okay. Now, what, once this Ganu Vaidya was arrested, he gave information about various revolutionaries. Of Abhinavarat. Okay. Uh, and you can say after this particular thing, what they did, they read it at pain. Okay. Abhinavarat factory at pain. From there, they got uh, idea or they got the thing about Barvevada, where all the weapons were kept. Okay. They finally went over there, Barvevada Godam. They read it there, they searched for the weapons, they got the weapon. Okay. And then finally, what they did, they confiscated everything. Okay. Then what happened? The Mahad branch of police okay, or the Mahad officers. What they did? They arrested a person called as Panwalkar and Dikshit. Okay, they arrested Panwalkar and Dikshit. Okay, and from Pune, you can say Brahmin Bua. Okay, from Pune, a person called as Brahmin Bua took main responsibility of everything, okay? Or he was uh, declared as a main conspirator or main person over here, okay? And finally, uh, members from different, different areas such as Kollapur, Aund, Pandarpur were imprisoned. Various people were imprisoned. And due to this, what happened? Finally, or gradually you can say, this secret society, okay? No members, no leader to guide. So what happened gradually? This secret society ceased to operate. And this ends the revolutionary phase in Maharashtra. Okay, so after this particular part, we are going to deal with the next part that is augmentation of Gandhi or Introduction of Gandhi or Gandhian era, what we call from 1920 to 1947. We are approaching the phase of freedom of India as well as Maharashtra now. Okay. So from the next lecture itself, we are going to start with the part of Gandhi. Okay. Gandhian era or what were the role uh, means played by Gandhi in the freedom struggle. So I hope you guys are enjoying these particular sessions. If you have any queries, you can ask me. Whatever questions are asked by me in the sessions, please try to comment them. It would serve as the purpose of revision. Okay. So that's it. For today, we'll end the session. In the next lecture, we'll be continuing with the Gandhian era. And if you feel the videos are too fast, just make the speed a bit slow. Okay, so thank you.